What is going on guys? It is Patrick here and today I am back with another top five. Now in this episode, I'm going to be going over the top five things I hate about Carrier as requested. I love the map, but there are definitely some things that they could still improve on. This is not a hate video, uh, but just a hate on the specific things I don't like. Now, I just want to mention, uh, it's probably going to be the last ExoZombies Carrier video I do for a while. I'm going to get back into the normal zombies Sunday, but uh, let's get into it. Coming in at number five, and I know a lot of these things are going to be really minute and nitpicky, but it is the med bay area. So the med bay area is probably one of the worst locations in Call of Duty Zombies ever. I swear to God. So starting off, it's pretty expensive to get into. I know it's only 750 points from one way, but the other door, I'm pretty sure is 1250, which is quite a bit for, for a, you know, a starting off door. But... It's so small. It is so small. The amount of times I've gone down there trying to get to that uh, infection decontamination thing, just trying to get like through there is so easy to die. It, it, like there's nothing in there that's good other than that perk. The gun on the wall is a freaking TAC-19 that nobody cares about. And I know this guy, I feel, I feel so dumb for like complaining about this, but I hate the med bay, like worst area ever. If there's a bomb going off in there, I want it to blow up because I hate that spot so much. Coming in at number four, and this probably stems from my hatred towards Die Rise, is falling off the map. Now, I don't really hate Die Rise. It's not my favorite map, but I hate the fact that you could fall off it. And I think that kind of got me a little bit scared about this map when I realized you could fall off it. And I know, before you say anything, it is so difficult to fall off this map, yet I am a scrub, and I've actually managed to do it. I've been playing this game. Round 30, I kid you not, I tried to jump uh, between the two areas in the spawn, and I fell off and died, ending the game. I don't know if it's just me, if I'm just a bad player, but I, I swear to God, I am just drawn to maps that you can fall off the edge. I'm drawn to areas you can fall off the edge. And it's not a big deal. Like, again, like, this is another thing. It's not a huge deal to most people. But to me, if there is a way you can fall off a map, I swear to God, every time I do. Coming in at number three, and I feel like this might be a little bit more global towards people, more centralized, more common, is the fact that it's not the most multiplayer-friendly map. Now, again, this may be becoming... Maybe coming from the fact that I'm a solo player, but I just hate the fact that like when I'm playing with four people, it's really crowded and it's not a small map, but the really two areas that you should train, the only two areas you should really be training is the moon pool and the cargo. Well, cargo is obviously the best place to train and I just feel like nowhere else is even, is even really remotely worth it. I guess you can kind of train like two people in the cargo, but it, it just... It's not the most friendly for four players. Camping isn't really an option. At least I don't like to do it in Exo Zombies. I find that really boring. So it's just like, man, like what do you do? Moving down to the number two spot on our list, it is the box locations. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I play this map, I usually play in the cargo. And it seems like the box was designed to be in places that are really far away from their cargo. So like the spawns, mostly the spawns, but it tends to go towards the spawns, mind you. But it's so, so frustrating to like, you're on like round 10, you need a gun. It's like, all right, fine. I gotta, I gotta go all the way across the map just to get here. I don't know what it is, but I just, I wish they had put, like, I feel like the placements of the box locations are, are poor decisions. It's not like the map just is, is bad for it, but it's like, why isn't there a box location in the cargo, like the best area? You know what I mean? Like injuries, for example, how awesome is it when you get the box at the catwalk? You could just camp there, turn around, boop, we're good. Any map that's like that, where the box is just right there is great. And in this map, it's like, ah. Uh, I have to go all the way around the map. Why didn't they just put it here? It's not like there's bad locations and it's big, but it's like obvious places that they should have put the box. It's just not there. I'm just not a fan of that. I feel like they could have done a better job with that, like where they picked to put the box locations. So that's my number two pick. And coming in at number one on the list of the top five things I hate about Carrier, Sledgehammer Games, I am really calling you out on this one. Other four, I can forgive. This one, I can't. It's the bomb. 
Oh my god. When I originally heard that I was going to have to go up against enemy AI units that shoot back at me and defuse a bomb, I was like, god damn it. They messed up again. Now I went into Carrier and I was like, all right, cool. This is actually not too bad. Round like eight, they spawned in them. Round nine, round 10, whatever. All right, this is fine. You know, this is easy. I killed them. Easy peasy. Got my camouflage. Everything's going well. Round 14 shows up. All right. I got these guys again. The map's a little bit harder, but eh, no problem. Round 20. Oh my god, it's a Goliath. What is happening? Oh, okay. He died really quickly. That's no problem. Round 25. All right. This is getting a little bit difficult, but I can still deal with it. Round 26. Oh, that's weird. It happened again. Round 27. What? Round 28. Round 28? Round 29. Round 30. Are you serious? You've given me the bomb five times in a row. What are you doing? Screw this. I've gone down twice in the last two rounds because I have to go for this stupid bomb that doesn't even matter. I can let all three of them blow up and nothing happens as long as it's not in the area that I'm training, which is the cargo, which of course I'm going to have to kill them because they're shooting at me. What the hell? Round 31, 32? I'm done. I quit.